In this video, I'm going to talk about push notification in Microsoft Power Apps, Canvas app. Now, what is a push notification? Push notification is basically an alert generated by an application when the application is not open, notifying user of new messages or updates or new post. Now, push notification is basically targeted for the mobile devices, mobile or tablet devices. Now, mobile or tablet devices will receive those notifications. As you see in the screen over here, the notification which you have received over here is a push notification. Now, for the push notification to be received, this app need not be opened. So if you have closed all your apps, still you will receive a notification if it is sent by the corresponding service provider. Now, this is different from the in-app notification because in model-driven app, as you see over here, this in-app notification is within the app. So if you open that app, then only you will see that notification. However, for push notification, this is received irrespective of whether your app is opened or not. Then in Canvas app, there is something called as a notification banner, which is completely different. It will just give you a message within the application. So if you open a Canvas app and if you do some action, then you receive some notification that is through notification banner. In Power Apps, you have an option to select a data source and from there you can send a Power Apps push notification. Now there is a corresponding connector in Microsoft Power Automate as well, which is pointing to send push notifications. As you see over here, the action is send push notification. Now you have two versions, send push notification and send push notification V2. For the uh, purpose of this demo, I'm going to refer to that as V1, which is a classic connector and here Power Apps notification. Now, right hand side points to Power Automate, left hand side points to Canvas App Power App. What it does, it allows you to send notification, a push notification to Power Apps. It can send this notification to Canvas App and this is an old classic connector. Now, what are the options we get? We get an option to select a recipient to which this push notification is targeted to. I can select one or one or more recipient I can specify the message. I can specify what action should that uh, notification take when someone clicks on that notification, okay? So whether to open an app, yes or no. If no, nothing happens. If yes, an app will be opened. Which app? The corresponding Canvas app. Now, the, the, the problem with V1 connector is that it is not that much modularized. So what happens is like when you actually create that connection, you need to explicitly specify which application are you targeting. So if you see over here in this screenshot, there is no way whereby you can specify which application you think you are targeting uh, is mentioned in this connector. Okay. So if you go into the back end, if you go into the connections and if you edit this connection here, you will see the application ID for which your uh, connector is pointed towards. Now I'm going to explain this in the demo. So let's jump into the demo. Let me show you uh, the screen. So this is a simple Canvas app. Okay. It has nothing fancy in it. It is a simple Canvas app. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a button in it. So I'm adding a button and this button is basically, I'm going to call this as say V1. So this is going to trigger that V1 notification. Now this V1 and now on the click of a button, something should happen. But before that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the data I click on add data and then I'm going to search for notification. I see two options, Power Apps notification and Power Apps notification V2. I'm going to select Power Apps notification it will create a connection. Now it is asking me for target application, the URL or ID shown under the app details tab. In order to get the app ID, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this application in an, another window. I'm going to make that power apps and I'm going to go into that Tom and Jerry app, which is over here. I'm going to go into the details. In the details, I'm going to copy the app ID. So I'm just copying the app ID and go into the screen and here specify the app ID. That's it. Click on connect and your connection will be established. Now the connection is established. Now how to use, how to send this notification, what you can do. I'm going to hard code the value, but then you can make it dynamic as you wish. So this is a V1 button. So here, 
on select on select event what you need to do you need to call this connector so power apps notification dot sent push notification and it is asking me for some values so as if you see over here it says message colon open app params and recipients okay so let me put a message first okay so message is basically um, hi this is v1 notification so a simple message okay and you can customize it however you think uh, is good for you okay now what was the other one is open app whether to open any app or not i'll say okay let's open the app so boolean value true or false now the next parameter is recipient so recipient is uh, basically an array of users to which the notification needs to be sent so i'm gonna put a square bracket as for an array and i'm just gonna put the email address so okay ml k dot on microsoft Dot com. Now that's it. So just close the curly braces and close the. Uh, so just before you close the curly braces, you just need to put a double quotes, close the square bracket, close the curly braces, and close the round bracket. Now once you're done with this, I think this formula looks good to me. So this is all good. So let me save this. And once you save this, you just need to publish this app. Okay. So it is saved now. Let me publish this app, publish this version. Now, let me open the mobile application parallelly. So let me just open the mobile application. So if I go over here, I'm just opening the mobile application. Now here, uh, I have this Power App. So I'm going to open this Power Apps. And once I open this Power Apps, I'm going to open, say, Tom and Jerry app. Now the application has received an update, so it will open an old version of the app and it will ask you a new version is available. Okay, and click on it and then this particular application app created. Right, so this is how the application will work. Um, I'll just exit this app. So I'm just outside this app now. Okay, so let me just spin this. Okay, now here I'm in the Canvas app. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, run this app okay so here i'm gonna i'll just put this here and i'm gonna run this app okay click on v1 now see what happens over here now we are sending out a notification a basically a push notification and this has successfully sent the push notification now we haven't received any notification as you see over here we have just received the notification and if i click on this then what happens it will open the tom and jerry app okay so we have received a push notification someone has done an action now the action has been done using power apps it can be done using power automate or any other web hook now within an app i can even click on this v1 so i'm in this the context of this app i'm clicking on v1 it will uh, send out a power automate request and then again it will send out this notification so if i again click on it it, it will be in the context of this app so this is how you basically use v1 connector to send push notification within power apps now the only downside of this connector is one is it is a classic connector so i think in the near future this may go away also this is quite tied to the application so if you go into the power app so i'm in the power apps interface let me show you the connection so in the connection it will create that connection now here if i just scroll down if you see this power apps notification what it has done it has put this connection but you can edit this connection now compared to v2 connectors we cannot edit the connect connections but here we can con edit the connection and here you can specify the target application okay now this application id is the application id of the canvas app now, if you see here, this is that Canvas app. Now, if I again open this app in Power Apps, and I'll show you the application ID in Apps. If you go to Tom and Jerry app, and if you click on Details, then the number which you see over here, D060 ending with 72, this is that same number. Now, let's assume if we have an another app, which is a model-driven app, 
Now, if I have this model driven app, now this is a car app, which is a model driven app. Now here, if I click on details and if I copy this app ID of the model driven app in the Power Apps notification V1 connector, and if I paste it, see what happens. It will say the application could not be found in the tenant. So that means you technically cannot use other application, which is a model driven app type in this connection. However, if you have an another Canvas app, okay, so let me show you Canvas app. So here I have another Canvas app, which is G New April Canvas app. And if I select the details, and if I copy this app ID and go into this connector and say this connector should point to this application. And if I click on save, it will safely accept. So that means what we can conclude is that this connector will work for Canvas app and not for model driven app. So that's it, folks. This is all about using Power Apps notification, push notification for V1 connector, which is available within Power Apps. Thanks for watching.